and uh, 19th of July. Beloved, uh, be free, be noble, be safe. Uh, you are your own master. I said, I know that. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is U uh, OUP, okay? That means original universe. God is protectors, yeah? So I said, I know that. Just being someone else, master is a problem. Mm -hmm. uh, and all other problems follow suit because of that. <laughs> because of being a master of someone else, yeah. So uh, on the 19th, I said, incredible, a spider insistingly weave a web outside on my balcony to zealously oppose my going outside, because if you move outdoor, peace will reign, meaning uh, my personal peace, yeah? yeah, because I've been losing it. So I tried to move out a little bit more, just to have more freedom. But Maya uses him to trouble me. I finally use water spray from the hose to shoo him away. Before that, I accidentally ruined his web in another corner of the balcony, opposite. And I apologized profusely. And I thought, okay, but then he ate all the leftover crumble web silk. Can you believe that? Oh. Yeah, normally when a web is ruined and it stay there. Yeah. Yeah. But he ate it all clean, wow. nothing left. And then he went to the, another corner and make another web there. Okay. Yeah, and in the opposite corner nearby, just a one, you know, one and a half meter apart, moved to make another web so big, you know, in the opposite corner. So I had to invite him to move to trees. Not fair that he does that, because I have been kind to his kin yeah. before. And always, so not all spiders are working with me, eh? I'm reading. <laughs> okay. The other type is better, kinder. The flatter one uh, looks similar to the crab are better. That's what I have written. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. That's it, huh? And now I let you ask your question. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Master, for sharing that. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, a couple, there's some more, but oh, never mind. We can never finish all that. I, Oh, 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 oh. Uh, did I read anything about the 10th of July? I, I don't think so. Uh -huh. Okay. On the 10th of July, a, the squirrel came from all over, from the mountain where I fed them before. Yes. They came all this mileage to come to see me. Wow. Oh, so the whole group. Oh, the whole group, the whole group. And, and then, uh, I thought they're hungry. I wanted to feed them something. I gave whatever I have, but they did not eat. They just come and tell me something. Okay. Uh, and another one, uh, dis uh, discoveries. Uh, because I read some of the, uh, the story of the Buddha, you know? Mm. Yes, Master. The Buddha say uh, some the tree uh, deity, yeah? Yeah. They have children also. I say, how are you? How do they make children? Do they have marriage and husband and all that? I say, no, they just make fruit. <laughs> Therefore, whenever we eat the fruit, we also hurt them. Um, mm. Okay, okay. I reach. I have, don't have the glass. I have to put the glass on, even though I look better without glass. No. <laughs> Who cares? Eh? Yes. Uh, three uh, deities make children for yield. I ask them why you make children. Yeah, do you really need children? They say they make them just, just to contribute. You know, for yield. That's what I said, yield. Uh, y I E L D. Uh, meaning, I, I guess, contribution, right? Yes, to yield. Yes, yeah, to give, yeah? Okay. And uh, that is the fruit. Thus, taking fruit from them hurt the trees. They need no partners to make children, just magic. Okay. Wow. Yeah. I remember one. Uh, one time I read something about the Lord Mahavira. He advised his uh, follower not to take fruit from the tree. Uh, the fruit, you know, like cucumber is okay, watermelon okay, yeah? Yeah. Those are melon type, or maybe similar type, like uh, maybe those gurks and stuff like that, yeah? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. I think that's what it is, yeah? Okay. I think now I, now these are uh, two and two together. Mm -hmm. mm. So, um, 
uh, the squirrel came, yeah, and then I forgot, I, in between I have the, the trees and now I remember the squirrel. When they, when they came, they just run around my place, yeah, <laughs> for a while and, and chipping and, and talking and dancing oh. <laughs> and told me about that, yeah. So the squirrel all came uh, and dancing around and, and when I talked to them, I said, hey, how are you, buddies? <laughs> Thanks for coming and visiting. And and the squirrel, you know, they lay flat on their stomach. They don't oh. they don't run away from me. They just lay flat. Flat and quiet and just gazing at me and listening while I'm talking oh, to them. Mm. I was also a surprise, yeah? I have never seen this before. Normally wild squirrels when you go near, they run away, no? Yes. But they just lie flat on the stomach, flat on the tree trunk, flat, really flat, as flat as possible, as if prostrating. Wow. And gazing at me and keep listening until I finished. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what I told them. <laughs> I just, you know, go chat, I guess. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Are you hungry or something like that? Did you eat well there? Are uh, you come here to stay or not? And then, and then they just disappear just as fast as they came after that. I don't see none of them anymore. Uh-huh. I thought they came to stay. No, they just come to, to tell me things and then they left. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I say here, so when talked, uh, squirrels lie flat on his stomach, one of them, yeah, and the other one, I did not have attention to see all of them, understand me? Uh, yes, right in front of me, about 20 inches, yeah, oh, wow. on the tree trunk, yeah, in front of my balcony. So um, when I talk, he just lie flat on his stomach. When I look at other, the same. And they're all gazing at me. When I talk to them, they all turn toward me and listen, listen, you know? Mm. They don't, uh, they don't chip around anymore. They don't talk. They don't move. Uh, and then uh, I say, "Why are you laying so flat on your stomach? <laughs> <laughs> Look very uh, strange." He say, "Pay respect for master." That's what he said. Oh, okay. So that's now that's and then he, uh, who say this? Just one moment. Oh, they also say, be be you forgiving to unloyal disciple. They mention the name of uh, that uh, person, you know. Yeah, I know that. She, she revealed something shocking to me also. Uh, you never know what people inside are like, yes. you know. Only looking outside, you never know. And on the 11, I said, dear God, can't believe some humans are so bad or badly influenced. And my life always has to be in trouble like this. You know I don't deserve it, do you? Well, you told me that also. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Done. I mean, there's more, but that's enough for now. These are the things that you're curious to hear. And the rest you can ask me, and i be happy to answer because because you have a uh, collect uh, uh, question, right? Yes, Master. And that's how this conference took place. Yeah. Mm. Yes, thank you, Master. I'm glad. I'm glad you asked something because it's always good for the world. Because whatever you ask is it's a human's kind of question, and many other human, you know, your brother and sister would love to hear and your question to hear answer because they have no chance to ask me. Yeah. Yes. And it could be good for the world people as as well if they listen. Okay. Yeah. Yes. I do not hope, but I, I pray that they might listen and it will help them. Recently, we are bolder now. I, I say we don't mince our actions anymore and we don't mince our words anymore. And so we uh, put a lot of these uh, animal cruelty on our TV, yeah? Yes. yes, Master. And it does change. At least one million people became vegan. Wow, that's good news. Because of that. Even though it's very, very crude, every time I see any of this cruelty picture, I scream and I, I cry. Oh, uh, it upset me for many days. Okay, and I scream at all heaven. I tell them I have to do something. 
I wish I have more time to. Okay, never mind. It's your time now, please. Okay, yeah. Master. Yeah. Master, um, due to COVID-19, 265 million are at risk of a hunger pandemic, mm. according to experts. Mm. World Food Program Executive Director David Beasley told the UN Security Council that we mm. could be facing multiple famines of biblical proportions within a short few months. Mm. Is there something people or disciples can or should do to prepare themselves in case this would happen? Oh, yeah. Remember, I read you my message before you asked question. The first, yes. first message ever I wrote in my diary on the 24th of July. Yes, Master. I just read to you. Yes. yes. I said self-sustain as much as possible. Yes. Yeah, even if you have balcony, you can plan things to eat, okay? If you yes. have land, you plant crops, you plant vegetable, you plant fruit trees. Be self-sustained as much as possible. Anyone, okay? Actually, I wanted to say this a while back then, in the first urgent call to the leaders, but I forgot. It stays in the back of my mind till it resurfaced again, days before 24th of July even, till I had time to write it down in my diary and told you guys before I forget again. There are many things I forget to, to write or had no time to write, even spiritual uh, vision or, or spiritual messages. Yeah, you have no idea how busy I am. Yes, Master. Anyone who listen, and disciple, of course, you know, plant organic uh, food, okay, as much as you can, self-sustain as much as you can. Yes, thank you, Master. Yes, uh, th that's why there was an urge for me to want to tell this message, but then I delay until today. Uh, at least we have it now. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Um, and another question is, the factory farmed animals are being killed because the processing plants were shut down and there is an oversupply of the animals. Mm -hmm. Will this cause the COVID-19 pandemic to get worse due to the increased karma created? Yeah, the same. Whether or not they kill animals for consumption or they kill them because of, of, of a surplus, it's the same. Yes, Master. Whatever you do to animals, you get it. Yes. You know? It's the same. We should have never, you know, create so many animals by inseminating or by some artificial mean or by whatever natural mean and then to kill them. Yes, Master. Or take away their babies. Uh, take away the milk for the baby and uh, quarantine the little poor calf in, in a cage so that their, their meat become tender and kill them, kill mother, kill kids, you know. Oh, this is terrible, horrible, you know. We make ourselves, the human race, into such a murderous race. It's so horrible. You know, you remember when we were kids, we read many stories about witches, you know. Yes. That the you know waiting somewhere in the forest or somewhere so to lure people or, or children to eat, yes. Yeah. Hey, we are doing the same to animals. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah, the story is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <sighs> yeah. For some patients, some symptoms from the COVID nineteen still linger even months after their official recovery. For instance, shortness of breath and mm. some even develop new symptoms, brain fog or fatigue. Mm. Is there a way to fully recover? No. Oh. No. If they are less uh, affected, then they're not. But if they're already affected, then it just continue or lay dormant there. Yeah. And people think it's, a, it's, it's a just a common flu. It's not like that, okay? I read in the news before many people, including uh, you know priests and all that, they they make light of of the COVID nineteen, and then they, they themselves also catch the disease and die. Yeah. 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 Yes. So that's why I keep telling you guys, even though I'm in retreat, I should not show up like this. But I worry. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Master. I have to tell, and whoever listen, they might save their lives. Okay. Thank you, Master. 
and also because of the merit uh, to less. If if you have more merit, then possibly that you can recover. Yeah. Yes, but if it's already grave, uh, gravely infected and and deteriorated, then then it's not. You might have some medicine or something kind of to to halt it somehow, but not recover completely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.